Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, bandits have reportedly kidnapped 48 people in Agunu Dutse, Agunu Ward of Kachia, local government area of Kaduna State. A traditional title holder from the community, Maurice Tanko, confirmed the incident to journalists on Thursday evening. He said the kidnappers stormed the area around 12.30 a.m. on Thursday, shooting sporadically to scare locals. At number four, the United States Attorney General's office has debunked reports of fresh allegations of $400,000 fraud allegedly perpetrated from prison by Abbas Raymond, popularly known as Hush Puppy. The Director of Media Relations, United States Attorney General's Office, Los Angeles, Tom Ruzek, provided the clarification on Thursday. The Office of the Lawyer to Hush Puppy denied knowledge of the filing of the document, describing the news as fake. At number three, Governor Mai Malabuni of Yobe State has taken over the leadership of the All Progressives Congress Caretaker and Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee after returning from a medical trip abroad. This was contained in a press release by his Director General Press and Media Affairs, Maman Mohammed in Damaturu on Thursday. When Buni was away, there were attempts to remove him from office as the Caretaker Committee Chairman. In the statement after his return to the country, Buni said it was a waste of time to hold grudges against individuals involved in the recent happenings in the party, saying grudges were detrimental to the success of the party. He also approved the reconstitution of the subcommittees of the National Convention Committee. At number two, a gas tanker exploded at Ijora Pallet Junction beside Lagos State Homes Estate at Ijora Badia on Thursday in Lagos State. Eyewitnesses said the explosion occurred at about 1.30 p.m. The tanker was said to be leaking and some passers-by drew the driver's attention to the leakage. Firefighters and a team from Ijora Badia Police Division were on ground to secure lives and property when the tanker eventually exploded. No life was lost in the incident. At number one, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has arrested the immediate past governor of Anambra State, Willie Obiano, at the Mutala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos State. Obiano was reportedly arrested around 8.30 p.m. on Thursday. It was gathered that the former Anambra governor was on his way to Houston, Texas in the United States. His arrest came hours after he handed over to Professor Charles Chukuma Soludo. Obiano's arrest was confirmed by EFCC spokesman Wilson Ujari. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands, and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time.